Speaking of Thanksgiving, are you offended by what Dan Campbell said earlier today? We have the audio if you missed it. Dan Campbell was on our sister station. You know I Dan Campbell, head coach it. of the Detroit Lions. I missed it. Tiki's close friend. Aren't you friends with the He's guy? my boy. He was on with Stoney and Jensen mm. on the ticket Hold in on. Detroit. What? Did I Tiki? say his name wrong? No, no, no. I oh. just, I see where something could be going in the next seven minutes, and I am trying to avoid a physical altercation with Tiki where he'll kick my ass anyway. Just when you hear Dan Campbell's audio, yeah. think before you speak and respond on this issue. <laughs> wow. That's the only thing I will tell Are you. Are you warning Tiki Barber? Are you, like, saying, be careful, I'll punch you in the face or something? There are certain things you could talk about in this world that are near and dear to my heart. Yeah. I would rather you trash my own children than do what Dan Campbell did. Uh, wow. wow. Right. Father of the year. With Just... all that said, Stoney and Jansen, the ticket in Detroit, had Dan Campbell on the weekly spot with him. I guess they have a weekly spot with him. And they asked him about what he's okay with removing from Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, here he Must is. have his ham. I'm a big ham guy. Okay. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a turkey guy unless it's unless it's fried turkey. Then I'm all for it. Uh, here you uh, are so good. Wow. He's not a turkey guy. You're right with that. I. I. We do not have turkey. What? <laughs> yes. We have ham. No turkey and just ham? Tracy's dad is a ham guy. I'm a ham guy. Tracy doesn't care. I mean, I think we'll have like a ceremonial piece. <laughs> but we don't really care about you turkey. You all right over there, Sean? It looks like he lost We don't care something. about turkey. Sean looks like he lost his dog. I know. What's wrong with you? <laughs> we, can we not I, be friends anymore? Just say it, T. Turkey <laughs> like, sucks. It's dry. It's, it's horrible. Dry. It's only good in a sandwich it's afterwards. Tasteless. It's dry. My immediate reaction is to say Tyrone Wheatley is now my favorite giant running back of all time. <laughs> Ron number Dane. One. Number two, like, this is just such a trash take, Tiki. Look, it's not a no, trash hold on, take. hold on. Dude, I just don't like turkey. And by the way, you don't have so to why like do turkey. I have to like That's turkey. not the point. You don't have to like, if you don't like turkey, you don't have to have turkey. You semi saved yourself about a ceremonial piece. You can't not have <laughs> turkey on the table on Thanksgiving. But why? Why does there have to be a turkey? Because it's what you eat on Thanksgiving. But it, why? And by the way, I'm asking you, why is that what we eat on Thanksgiving? First of all, it's delicious. Number one, it's not delicious. Number two, but why do we have to eat it? Because <laughs> the pilgrims and the Native Americans I don't care told them who so. Ate it. It's with the inflatables they sell at Lowe's and Home Depot float up. They don't float up a giant ham that you put on your lawn. There's like it's turkeys turkey. running around my it's, neighborhood. Okay, and, great. And so I, I feel bad, like, eating a turkey. Feel bad, okay. It's like, and they're big. They're so like if a pig big, crossed the street, suddenly beautiful. you wouldn't have a ham? No, he was still bacon. He's, he's Bottom up, look, all I'm saying is dude, this. I'm black. Of course I'm going to bacon. If you <laughs> don't, what you do? <laughs> if you don't like turkey, you don't like turkey. But to say turkey, like, it's not good, it's dry. I'm sorry, no offense to the cooks out there, you don't do turkey right. There's a proper way to baste it, keep it moist. Yeah, There's exactly. a process. I, know, I don't disagree. It, I make it I'm multiple like times a year. If you're going to fry, fry up a turkey, Fine. Let's, let's go. But you can't not have turkey on Thanksgiving. In fairness, in fa- Tiki brought something up that happened to me and our family a year ago. Mm-hmm. And maybe Sean would understand. There was a wild turkey that got injured in our backyard. We they're took everywhere. care. It's crazy. It's everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. But this wild turkey we befriended as a family. They named him Jacob the Grom. We named him Turk. Oh, sorry. okay. Turk. Saves you so 30 bucks on a butterball. We had a turkey. We named him Turk. This was months before Thanksgiving. The kids loved him. And I was warned, oh, wild turkeys are dangerous. Turk was so different. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, we lost Turk. Oh. We actually had some animal people come over because his wing was really damaged. And they took him. Oh, crap. Is my kids listening? Because they think he went to the zoo. Mm-hmm. Um, they shot him. <laughs> you got the pink Turk juice. is fine. Turk is out of form. Yeah, yeah. All right. But that Thanksgiving a year ago was very tough to eat turkey. And I even said it to my wife. I was like, can we really eat turkey? Mm. We just befriended Turk. How the hell are we going to eat a turkey? Just quit. Oh, no. Just quit eating turkey. Yeah. Cold turkey. Cold, cold turkey <laughs> the turkey. See, the bottom line of Thanksgiving is this. What? And I say this. You know, because everybody should eat as we are here on Hungerthon. But the right way to do Thanksgiving <laughs> isn't to do an either or. If you love ham, I think ham's great. Yeah. You don't like turkey, you like turkey? It should all be on the I table. It's one day a year. need to have turkey. I just don't know why. Here's the it's proof what that. what you eat on Thanksgiving. But, Sean, here's the proof Why that do you need Tiki... a wide receiver in an NFL offense? <laughs> well, you don't if you're certain teams. You know, Tiki's right about one thing. If we loved turkey as much as you think, why would we only have it once a year? To make it special. That's right. But think about that. Like, that's a dumb question. Point. Does anyone dumb go question, home? Easy answer. What's the answer? First of all, I make turkey a couple times a year. I'll do a turkey breast a couple times a year. The easy answer is to do it right, it takes time. It's babying, so it's special. 
Anybody could fry up chicken cutlets every single night, throw a ham with some glaze in there. A turkey at its best is a process. You're constantly mm-hmm. moistening the breast. You're rubbing the breast down with the oils and the butters. This sounds like something else. But no, ahead. but this okay, is what you, you do. You and your wife do on a nightly basis. Exactly. That's just how I make my turkey. I put a little butter and some bacon grease. I slap those breasts. You motor about them? I'm just saying it's a process. <laughs> Dan Campbell also went on to give his opinion on other things of Thanksgiving. I am he not a dressing fan. I am what? not. A, I am not a dressing fan. I'm not a cra- cranberry fan. Okay, I got to throw that right out to the dogs. I'm yeah. going straight off the plate, right on the floor. Wow, nice. can you believe that? Nice. It You're okay me, with took, that? It took me a while to become a cranberry fan, but now that I've kind of gotten the the process of like mixing it in, mm-hmm. getting a little dip of cranberry, throw some stuffing on it. Maybe stab a piece of ham, eat it all collectively. Yeah. The, it's that's that's good. Cranberries but, there for show. <laughs> cranberries, it's like a different kind of like spice and not like a spice, but like it just a texture. Like it, it it smooths it out, man. I'm just telling you. It needs to be and it needs to be in can form where you see the ridges. Yes. To prove to one hundred percent right. Yeah. The to- non canned Cranberry? Weirdos have put that out. No, no, thank you. Where I am with Tiki about it really being more symbolic than anything is for many years, and I I love my parents for this, so don't criticize them. We actually didn't have turkey for Thanksgiving. We would make... (laughs) I'm going to try to say this. This is really a stunner to the audience. Hold on a second. I'm not done yet. This was long before I met my wife and my in-laws. We would make Mexican food (laughs) every Thanksgiving. Why? (laughs) Working with. Why? <laughs> Dude, e- Evan's an alien. I, I mean, this just proves it. Why, you ask? Yeah. Why not? Mexican it's, food is great. On Thanksgiving? It's the family being together. What do we all love? Hold we all on. love Mexican food. So as Randy Moss is streaking down the field in the puddles in Dallas, you guys are hot-pressing quesadillas and a foreman grill? That's correct. Your family sucks, dude. <laughs> now, here's what's funny. So I marry a beautiful Mexican girl. Yes. Okay? She's Mexican. I marry into this family. My in-laws live with us. First year, I said, you know what? We really mean a lot to me. And Abuelo's like, what's that? I said, the most traditional, cheesy Thanksgiving you could have. Because I'm with Tiki. It's not that the turkey's any good. It's not that corn in the cob is any good. Mm -hmm. It's not. If it was that good, we'd eat it a lot the way I eat Mexican food every five days. That's right. It's just symbolic of the day. And so turkey's overrated. He's a thousand percent right. That's why we only have it once a year. Because it's not any good. Don't make turkey the right way. What do you do now? What do I do now? Yeah. Turkey, stuffing, potatoes, every like stereotypical Thanksgiving meal you could have. I want it on my plate. I love it. I got the Mexican out of me. Because I have the Mexican every five days anyway. I love it. So it's really not even about the food being good. It's that's just what you're supposed to do. Mm. And if it was that good, you'd eat it a lot. So he's kind of right about the turkey. Mm. All I'll, I, I'll close with this because I've said a lot. I can't say all I'll say. If you're going to do Thanksgiving like that and like what you like, as I said, put it all out there. Have a smorgasbord. You cannot invite a newcomer in. You're dating a new girl. Mm. You're bringing somebody home to mom and dad. And invite them over to Thanksgiving and they get there and there's no turkey. And you're subjecting them to whatever garbage traditions you've come up with because that's rude to them. Why garbage? Garbage. (laughs) Sorry. And by the way, Dan Campbell, you don't like turkey? Good. Coach on Thanksgiving the rest of your life. (laughs) I I also find it fascinating that the Roberts thought the turkey being symbolic on Thanksgiving. Now we'll eat Mexican. But you know what? We'll go to a baseball game every year on opening day because that's really important. (laughs) That's a big holiday. Two of them in a year, there's but 80, that's symbolic. There's 81 of them, not Who 82. Who cares? Eat, eat the damn turkey, day. not a burrito. What do I eat on one? Opening day. Opening day? Ham sandwich with the so crust cut off. It's kind of funny that Lugie says that. When I was a kid, me and my dad would pick up sandwiches. Mm-hmm. I'd usually get a big bologna sandwich, maybe a little <laughs> cheese on it. And yeah, uh, the crust being off when I was a kid, oh. I wouldn't mind. Oh my and God. we would destroy those sandwiches while sitting there. So it's big sandwich sh- pickup guy <laughs> before going to opening day. Ooh, opening day, you stuff a wiener in your mouth. <laughs> it's the other holiday that goes with a food. It's turkey on Thanksgiving, and it's a freight footer in your mouth and on opening beer. day. Uh, okay. Dude. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. Thanks for the contribution, Sean. Yeah. 